What's going on, Cowboy Nation? It's your boy, Ken Tassik here. It's an okay day here in North Texas. Um, this uh, article I wanted to kind of talk about right now that's on my mind right now. It's about the Dallas Cowboys being surpassed by the San Antonio Spurs as the best professional team in the state of Texas. Before I get into my decision, and I'm sure a lot of people know how I feel about this, but I'm going to go ahead and list out the accomplishments real quick. But first things first, remember, there are a lot of Cowboys fans that are Spurs, Lakers, like I am a Lakers fan, diehard, Heat, Bulls, Knicks, the Mavericks, Rockets, I mean, goes on and on and on. Okay. Now... The difference of accomplishments at the Cowboys and the Spurs. Now, Spurs, I'm going to go with first. You know, they got five NBA championships. Um, they won 20 divisional titles. They got nine Hall of Fames they have played for. Um, they have um, 15 consecutive seasons where they won 50-plus games, which is a remarkable record. Um, they got arguably probably the best trio in NBA history as far as most wins. You know, they kind of like the quiet version of a trio, unlike the Kevin McHale's, Larry Bird's, and the Rob Parrish's, unlike the, you know, um, the Magic Johnson's, James Worthy's, and, uh, you know, Michael Cooper's, you know, or Kareem, period. I mean, those are big, you know, big companies or whatever. Now, let's look at the Dallas Cowboys. Five Super Bowl championships, um, uh, twenty consecutive winning seasons, which hadn't been challenged by the NBA. I mean, by the NFL. Um, Twenty-one Hall of Famers. Um, let's see what else. Um, three Super Bowls in four seasons. Huge accomplishments. Period. Um, and it was a team of the nineties. Now, the Cowboys' accomplishments far awaits the San Antonio Spurs. Why? Because they, they've been doing it in so many different eras. The Spurs only done it in one era as far as what they've done, the championships. Yeah, they was a competitive team back in the 80s with, you know, George Gervin when he was at the helm. Now, in the 90s, they was, they, was, they was pretty good with, you know, with Dave Robson being, you know, the man or whatever. But they could never get past the Rockets or the, or the Suns or, or even Seattle in that matter. Now, you got to remember, the Cowboys, you know, they, they started in mid, you know, they started their winning in the mid-60s. They went to, you know, so many uh, championship games. They lost a bunch of them. But then in the 90s, I mean, then the 70s come rolling around. They was the best team in the NFC throughout their whole entire decade. They had the, probably the best quarterback in that decade in Roger Staubach. 80s. I mean, of course, they won two uh, Super Bowls. They've been to five Super Bowls and won two. Now, um, let's look at um, what... The the eighties, of course, the you know the Cowboys they slipped or whatever. Whatever the first part of the decade, they first half of the decade they were still winning, but they wasn't being the team that they once were. I mean, yeah, they got to the, the conference title games a couple times and they they still lost. Whatever, they went into a decline. <laughs> Now, once the 90s come rolling around, which, you know, they got the new owner with, you know, Cowboys, you know, Jerry Jones. He brought in Jimmy Johnson and changed everything. They won within four years, it's been 1-15 in 1989. They won, I mean, within, I'm sorry, within those five years from 89 to 90 to 93 season, they won two back-to-back championships. And then two years later after that, they won another. So that's three and four years could have been four but you know it is what it is now ever since then since the 95 season the Cowboys had won but maybe two playoff games since that time um you know it's 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 you know it's upsetting but 
you know, if you, if you look at the accomplishments, even to this day, they, what they're setting is incredible. They're still getting most attention. Yeah, they're not adding more championships to the to the to the um, to the pot, but you know they still getting looked at as the most um, as far as money and all that stuff like that, popularity and all that stuff like that. They still getting the notoriety, unlike the Spurs. The reason why I say about the Spurs is because the market that they play in is really is slow. Um, it's pretty much like a well hidden like market. I mean, it's not dead or anything like that. It's just not up to par as like Dallas or even Phoenix. Period. So, um, I just feel that um, no matter what the Spurs really do or whatever, um, can they? The question I have is this: Can they? Do this without Greg Popovich not being there anymore or Tim Duncan or that big three. That's all I got to say. Cowboys done it twice. Winning twice with two different errors in the, you know, in the NFL. And that's hard to do. It's very hard. So my, my answer to that is No. The Spurs would not, in my in my eyes, they would never surpass the Dallas Cowboys as the as the Texas successful team. It's no way. It's no way. This is a football driven state. That is, that it is what it is. So, uh, if you got anything to really add on to that and stuff, uh, put it at the bottom. Um, you know, that's just my opinion. I just feel that, you know, the the writer that came out with this story, it was a kind of an interesting topic for him to talk about. But at the same time, for uh, one of the guys to say, yeah, the Spurs have surpassed the Dallas Cowboys, it's, it's not possible. It's not possible. If the Spurs was to go, like I said, if they was to become a mediocre team, nobody would never remember them. I promise you that. Look at the Cowboys. They're a mediocre team. Everybody still talk about them. Period. So, that's, it is what it is. So, that's all I got. Shout out to everyone. Uh, shout out to the SoCal family. Shout out to the Dallas-Fort Worth uh, family. Um... The uh, Dallas Cowboys of Houston, what's going on, babies? Um, uh, my people's out in uh, Arizona, uh, Vegas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All oh, into my boy CC, what up? And um, that's all I got. So um, take care out there, go Cowboys.